A new report says the Great Recession is over. According to a nonprofit research group, the recession began in December of 2007 and ended in June of 2009. But a lot of Americans are still suffering its effects and are taking it out on President Obama. Senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has more. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Harry. The numbers may be going in the right direction, but if there was any doubt that most of America doesn't yet feel things improving, listen to what a frustrated voter had to say to President Obama at a CNBC town hall meeting. I'm one of your middle class Americans, and quite frankly, I'm exhausted. I, I'm exhausted of defending you, defending your administration, right. defending the mantle of change that I voted for, right. and deeply disappointed with where we are right now. I, I've been told that I voted for a man who said he was going to change things in a meaningful way for the middle class. I'm one of those people, and I'm waiting, sir. I, I'm waiting. I, I don't feel it yet. On the defensive, the president responded by outlining some of his administration's accomplishments, but admitted that things aren't where they need to be. As I said before, times are tough for everybody right now. So uh, I understand your frustration. But what I am saying is, is that we're moving in the right direction. But the president knows that the only real answer is providing jobs and that saying the recovery takes time doesn't play well with voters. And what I'm really hoping to hear from you is several concrete steps that you're going to take moving forward mm -hmm. that will be able to reignite uh, my generation, reignite the youth who are beset by student loans. And um, mm -hmm. I really want to know, is, is the American dream dead for me? Absolutely not. Look, but that disillusionment is echoed on Main Street from both sides of the aisle. We've got I've been disappointed, unbelievably disappointed. Yeah, in from what? Bo from both sides. I feel like nothing changes, and so there's there's no point, really. <laughs> Everything will stay the same. No matter what I do, I could vote for or against, and it'll stay exactly the same. So the reality is that improving statistics aren't very convincing to voters who are worried about jobs. And that is the reality the president and his party face going into the November elections.